potential in the Philippines is really uh, very high. We have a co comparatively uh, young population uh, that, I mean, as, as it was highlighted during the whole the whole conversation today is very receptive to digi digitalization and using of mobile devices. Um, and also there is still a, um, a proportion of unbanked uh, population that can be basically, uh, that can, where the, the blockchain can, can uh, come very handy to actually uh, fill this gap. Uh, we've seen an incredible adoption, as I was mentioning before, in terms of uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, we've seen an incredible adoption of um, a, n a number of uh, utility uh, utility tokens in the past. And now we've seen in the past, uh, I would say, 12 months, and especially in the last six months, an unbelievable adoption of online gaming and NFTs in, the, in these online gaming digital platforms, uh, where we're seeing a new type of economy that we would have never expected before, where this type of uh, digital assets can be used as digital ownership of new types of assets. And these new types of assets can actually generate an income for, uh, for the population that actually uh, starts using uh, these, these new platforms. So we were very bullish, uh, we're very bullish on this kind of a uh, trend. And I think, um, this can also can only accelerate uh, further if we have um, enlightened institutions uh, such as the Union Bank of the Philippines and obviously Henry Steam that has been very helpful in actually supporting at a larger scale this kind of adoption at the more institutional level.